another blinglights.com installation video. Here I'm going to show you how to install a set of plug and play HID kits that they sell. This kit fits a 9006 bulb. As you can see here, I've already gotten the bulbs out. These are the originals, the 9006s. Um, this is the kit that you receive. Looks just like that. Comes in a black box, says Xenon on it. Um, these wires that are in the kit are basically universal wires. If you need them, you need them. If you don't, you don't. You just read the instructions. I don't need these, so I took them out. Um, first thing first is obviously, depending on if you're putting them in your headlights or your fog lights, mine are going in my fog lights, so I had to take my front bumper off. As you can see, there's my front bumper. Got my new fog lights in them too. Some clear lens fog lights with the clear projector in them. First thing I did was obviously took the bumper off and then what I did was is I installed the fog lights with the bulb that is in the kit. Put the bulb in there. As you can see these are the wires for the HID kit that come off the the HID bulb did it on both sides as you can see one two and then what you got to do is you got to find a good spot fairly uh, open and fairly secure spot for the ballasts basically this is your ballast comes with the three bolt holes two on top one on bottom then you've got your wiring which has the connections to go to the light and then your connections to go to the original wiring harness that is in your vehicle as you can see blinglights.com bling lights um, all this hardware is supplied with it you've got this plate right here which the ballast actually gets put on basically you got one two three holes for the one two three holes that are on the ballast you got your little screws that fit into these holes and basically you bolt the ballast bolt the ballast directly to that metal piece and then once you find your secure spot to put it in boom you want to find some kind of either like a frame bolt or a carriage bolt or some kind of bolt that's going to be strong. The one I chose is the one that holds the condenser to the front frame of the car which is very, very strong. And obviously as you can see on the mounting bracket there is a multitude of holes in case you want to get closer to the ballast or depending on how much room you've got I mean as you can see I've got all the room in the front here so I chose to just put it as low as I can so I can get as much wire as I can out of the bottom here see and then these wires will hook up to the two wires that come off the fog lights in just a second I am going to show you Okay, first I'm going to show you how to put these screws into their respective spots. Basically just line up the holes, get the correct screwdriver, see Phillips head, and then what you want to do is you want to just screw them into place, bam there's one, and then obviously line up the correct holes. There's two, and then you've got the third one. One, two, and three. And as you can see, all attached. Next, you will see me putting on the bracket onto the car. Be right back. Back. As you can see, that is the bolt I'm going to choose that is the ballast I'm going to put on so obviously lefty loosey righty tighty 
loosen up the bolt that you're going to use make sure you take the bolt all the way out get it loose enough just use your fingers okay sometimes that doesn't always work sometimes you just gotta get it loose enough what the heck come back the ballast will be on said it'll be on but I uh, figured I'd touch base with something as you can see I got the bolt off bolt goes through one of the holes that are already equipped on the bracket and basically what you're gonna do is is make sure the wires all right make sure that the wires go down here to where the fog light is gonna be and then what you do is, is I've got a little bit of interference here, so I'm going to have to jimmy some stuff around to make it fit, but I'll make it fit and I'll be right back. Alright, looks like I got it here to fit. It does rub up against the, um, one of the switches and the hose, but it's definitely in place. Basically just tighten down the bolt that you used down to factory specs which I use the German style which is good and tight on this nice and tight and then look doesn't move and if you look down there you can see my other hand grabbing all the wires and then look these wires are here to power up your new HID kit and I will get my bumper here with the fog lights in them on in a second and I'll be right back well back where I said those two wires that came with the kit to get rid of which is just this right here from that blue to that black I would not get rid of them because for some reason the contacts inside of here do not contact correctly with the 9006 so you have to use this little piece of wire that they gave you or it will not work I want to turn them on just to show you what they look like before I put the bumper on lights on and obviously my headlights get the fog lights in as you can see they work so now that they work I'm gonna put the bumper on and that's basically all it entails all the wires are connected correctly your ballasts are nice and firmly secure so they don't fall and then just put the bumper back together and that's basically about it and uh, Thank you for using blendlike.com and uh, we'll see you in the future on some more videos.